What's up, y'all? Today, we're gonna look at a little collection. Uh, I'm gonna share with you my collection of Mattel WWE figures. Um, now, if I'm not mistaken, the last time I did a video showing my um, Mattel WWE figures, um, I want to say it's about three years ago. Honestly, I think it was... I think I was still living in San Diego at the time. And I'm pretty sure I was showing that video because I was getting ready to quit Mattel WWE. Or, yeah, the WWE figures in general. Um, <laughs> if you pay attention, you might notice by now that I can be a little fickle. I'll... I'll, I'll get to a point where I decide to quit collecting a certain line uh, and I do I'm not fickle in the sense that uh, I think I want to quit but um, but then I decide not to no I, I do but then I get back into it it's happened with several lines even in just recent history when I say recent history I get last three to five years or so um marvel legends come to mind star wars black series transformers um and like i mentioned wwe these are all things that i at some point sold off my entire collection and then got back into them and, and amassed another collection. And that is exactly the case here. So as you can see, I've got I've got a box full of these figures. Um, so the last time I showed a video, most, if not all of those, would be gone. I'm, I'm sure, actually, no. Uh, I say most just because I'm sure I kept some. In, in fact, I know I kept some like these. These, these were carryovers. Um, these were all, these are all new. These are all ones from when I started back up. And then these, because these are all the, the, the male superstars. Um, there's going to be a few that carried over, but majority are, are, are newer from when I, I started collecting again. Um, so also, if you're astute, put two and two together, that I'm sharing a collection means, oh, I must be getting ready to get rid of some again. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I, I almost, going into this, I almost was going to be like, this will probably be the last time I, I you, I'm going to share a video of Mattel WWE figures. So, so I, I guess, again, being kind of fickle or just, you know, not 100% decided, I was, I was partly thinking I'm just going to get rid of them all and just, you know, stop collecting um but uh as i'm looking at them i'm like yeah you know what i think i get let go of all my male superstars but i think i'm still gonna you know even though realistically and this is why why i pulled these out and and decided um i'm gonna i'm gonna let go of these because Unlike almost every other line, there there isn't a lot for me to do with these. Um, I'm never gonna get a ring. You know, I'm I'm not re these aren't figures that I'm gonna ever really play with. And unlike almost every other line, like I'm not really gonna do photography with these. I only collected them because kind of like being a fan of of celebrities like actors and actresses and musicians you know these are real life people these are action figures of real life people that i'm a fan of and they're like a, a you know they're a cool miniature 3d representation that's mainly why i collect it but you know if you'll notice for as little as i i do toy photography now and you know for the past few years you know, I'm never going to do it with, with WWE figures. They just don't fit in settings outside of, like, a wrestling ring or, or an arena, you know? Which, again, I'm never going to get a wrestling ring or, you know, any play sets, or extreme sets, or what have you. So, you know, I, I'm keeping them. This, this is really a kind of toy line that I'm only keeping really just for, um, 
for lack of a better term, sentimental reasons, you know, because I'm a fan of these characters, and it's not like I'm really going to do anything with them. Anyway, uh, with that said, let's just jump in uh, to taking a look at these figures. I'm going to pull these out. There's a separate little bag right there. There you go. And just uh, just so you know, because I think this might be the first time I'm, I'm showing one of these boxes in this way. You, I, I've shown glimpses of the garage where you'll see stacks of these. But this is how I store my figures. I don't know exactly um, the measurements or, or, you know, the how much this can hold, you know, in, in gallons or whatever. Um, but this is a small um, moving box from Home Depot. Now, this is pretty much how I store almost all my action figures. Um, and I know I'm kind of rambling going off of the, uh, showing the collection, but just real quick, one of the ways that I, I keep a cap on my collecting for any one toy line, I'll only keep as much as will fit in this box. If there's no more space, then I got to get rid of stuff to, to get, to put new stuff in. So anyway, all right, let's look at the figures. Let's go ahead and start with the male superstars. So, like I said, uh, some of these were carryovers, like these guys, I think. Uh, and this, these were these were some of my favorites, so I kept them. Um, and then this, which <laughs> BC, if you're watching, you'll recognize this guy. Uh, BC gave me this guy when I had absolutely zero Mattel WWE figures. I still was holding on to my collection of Jax WWE, even though Mattel had come out with their line already. You know, I just wasn't ready to, to switch over. Yeah, this, this, this Randy Orton convinced me. Randy Orton's always been one of my favorites, and, uh, you know, was, he's what uh, VC gave to me, and, and it's what kicked off my collection. So yeah, I, I believe these were all the carryovers, and the rest of these are were newer ones that I'd gotten. So there might be a couple still. If if I even if I let go of almost all of these, there might be a couple I'll keep still. Um, you know, like that and and Goldberg, even though it's not an elite, but this is. He's largely the reason I got into WWE. I'm not gonna ramble about that story right now, but uh, yeah. And and this Macho Man, he was one of my favorites during the uh, you know the the, the classic era. Um, Braun Strowman, he's still one of my favorites. He's no longer in WWE, but he was always one of my favorites. Ryback, feed me more. It's kind of, he was kind of like a monster. You know, I was, I was always a fan of the, the monsters. Like, uh, you know, and then that's why I got Kane here. Um, HBK, Triple H, still one of my favorites. Of course, you got to have John Cena. I know some people hate on Cena, but I've always liked him. Shinsuke Nakamura, the artist. Roman Reigns. Samoa Joe, <laughs> Shane O'Mac, the man himself, look at that, Vince McMahon looking all ripped, Seamus, so there you have it, that's all my male superstars, and these were my, my older female superstars, or divas. I want to say, if not all, most of these were from the Divas era. Which, you know, was a fun time. But, you know, most of these chicks weren't really wrestlers. They were great to watch in the ring. You know, some of them had cool personalities. Caitlyn was a big fan of her. Gotta have Miss Elizabeth, of course, growing up on the, you know, in the classic era. But yeah, most of these divas, some of them, I really don't remember their names. Like, these three chicks in particular, no idea what their names are. 
save a couple of these for later. Lana. I still love her. I it's funny how, you know, this was I don't remember if this was her first figure. It was one of her first. I remember I I think I did a, a review. It was a ravishing Russian. Um But it's funny. I think uh she's pretty much dropped the uh, Russian accent. Excuse me! Vicky Guerrero. Stephanie McMahon. One of my favorites. Still one of my all-time favorites. The Glamazon. Death Phoenix. Of course, you gotta have the twins. Nikki and which one's Nikki? This is Nikki and Brie. Maurice, if I'm not mistaken. Now, during the uh, Divas era, my all-time favorite, Kelly Kelly. It's awesome, still love her. And Paige. Still one of my favorite, uh, one of my all-time favorite superstars, but I was going to say this is still one of my favorite figures of all my um, WWE figures. Really cool. All right, so there's those. Before I get into the last bag of, of women superstars, let me open this up. A couple of those uh, monster ones. I forget what the line was called exactly. But there's a undead Sasha Banks, a monster version of Asuka, a zombie version of Shinsuke, which actually looks really cool. Like as a as like a monster figure, really cool. All right, and then last but not least, women's division. Most of these are are like current. Some of them are a little older, like Alicia Fox. I don't know if she's. I don't think she's even active anymore. Little Miss Bliss. She's my favorite. You should know that. Dana Brooke. Oh, I forget her name. Escapes me right now. Mandy Rose, another one of my favorites. Not not the best figure. The head is just too big on this. The the likeness is actually good, but the head is just too big. Asuka, also one of my favorites. Speaking of one of my favorites, Kyrie Sane. So those two go together. Another one of my favorites, the man, Becky Lynch. Ronda Rousey is a huge fan of her time in the WWE. Sarah Logan, that's actually a really good likeness right there. Sasha Banks, could use an updated Sasha Banks. Brie, her name is escaping Natalia. I was <laughs> like, why? Why is her name escaping me right now? Alundra Blaze, classic, classic superstar. Uh, she should kind of be in there, you know, because she's a classic, but she's this is a newer figure. Nikki. Sonya Deville. Definitely one of my favorites. Put her there with Mandy Rose. Carmella. Also a really good likeness on that one. Charlotte Flair, original, <laughs> first time in the line, Alexa Bliss, RBF right there, a slightly updated Lana, not not far from current, but newer than the, the previous one, gotta have a Nia Jax in here. And last but not least, so I had an older version of Trish Stratus that was with uh, with those, but I'd let I'd let go over because I knew newer ones were coming out. Um, I missed out on the previous like elite releases, so her and um, oh man, her name is escaping me right now. Lita, these are these are actually. Newer versions of two as seen, um, what was it from, oh, I forget when they appeared together, uh, like this, but these are, these are definitely the more newer current versions 
of the two classic superstars, divas. Actually, no, they they were even they were even before the like the divas era. Anyway, yep. So there you guys have it. That is my collection of uh, Mattel WWE figures. Some of my favorite figures. Even though, again, like I said, they they they're not figures that I'll really play with. It's just I have them just to be, you know, for because I'm big fans of these, you know, especially these women. They're really the reason. They're they're what keep me watching WWE. Anyway, there you guys have it. As always, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks so much for watching.